Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Ian here with IntelliHomes, and I am so excited to finally be able to install this light switch and get to show you how to do it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is showing you how to install the newest smart switch that we have available. It's the one that uh, I will link down below to the video of me unboxing it. Now this video is a few minutes long and I'm gonna post two versions of it. The first version is going to be the edited walkthrough version of installing it. The second video will be the unedited version of me installing it. I have noticed that whenever I started learning how to install these light switches, it was very difficult because people were cutting up their videos so many times. There was parts in it that I didn't just qu quite understand and maybe I missed it or didn't know how they did it. So I'm gonna post as well the unedited version of me installing it, basically all of the footage just pushed together so that you can see what it looks like. That way you could walk through step by step in case you feel like you're missing something or not quite understanding something that I'm explaining. I'm gonna do the best job I can. Now, the first step we're gonna have here is learning what our tools are. Tools needed to be able to change a light switch. First thing, of course, is a screwdriver. You can use a power drill if you want. You're gonna need two different bits, most likely. You will need a Phillips head style and a flat head. I like these ratcheting ones, they're just easier. Generally, you're gonna need some type of uh, wire cutters as well as potentially something to strip the wire. This is for testing to see if power's still on. I'll show you how that works in a moment if you haven't seen one. Of course, a headlamp. I got lots of light right now, though once I turn off the power, I won't have much. Of course, you'll need the light switch and then you'll need uh, whatever is included. So screws, here's the faceplate cover, and then some of these uh, wire nuts. This will allow us to connect to the neutral. First step, anytime we are dealing with electrical, we wanna turn off the power. Head down to your fuse box, flip that breaker switch. Let's make sure the power is off. Back at our light switch, we're gonna go ahead and start taking the front panel off. Everybody's light switch is gonna be a little different, so make sure you get that front panel off. Mine's that tempered glass, so it's just a little pop on the side. Most light switches are gonna have two flathead screws that you're gonna unscrew to take that front panel off. Once you're done taking that front panel off, the next step is going to be alternating the two screws that hold the light switch into its socket. Here is the tester to verify if the power is still on. I'm gonna leave this audio on so you can hear it. This little tester has, is green whenever there is, it is safe and red when it is not. You'll notice that there's a moment where it turned red and I couldn't quite figure it out, though after checking a couple more times, I could see that it was still safe. You'll hear an audible beeping sound if it is not safe. Once we've verified there is no power to this switch, we can go ahead and start removing the screws that hold the wires to the old light switch. Once removed, we can go ahead and get our new light switch. This one already has wires attached to it, so we're going to find the existing wires and attach them using the wire nuts. You're gonna have one that is a LN or line in. That is your power coming from your fuse box. That is the power wire. You're gonna match that one up with the black wire on the light switch. From there, we're gonna connect the line out, or L out, which is the power going from the light switch up to the light itself. So you're gonna attach that one that is the red wire. Then we have the neutral wire, which maintains constant power to the light switch. Since it's Wi-Fi enabled, it needs power at all times. You're going to connect the white wire to the bunch of white wires. In my case, I already have a bunch of neutral wires in the light switch, so all I need to do is connect that white wire right up to that bunch. The last wire you're going to connect is the green ground wire. Once all those wires are connected, we're gonna go ahead and run back down to our 
electrical panel and turn that fuse back on before we reinstall the light switch. We wanna verify it is working before we put it in. There is nothing worse than putting this all back together and then finding out that a wire came undone or you wired something incorrectly and you have to take it out, redo it. Once you have verified that that light switch is working, we're gonna go ahead and turn the power back off so that we can reinstall the light. Honestly, this is one of the hardest parts of the whole process. Those light switches are pretty bulky and it's very difficult sometimes, especially with all those wire nuts in there now, to get that light switch back in there properly without it being angled off or protruding slightly. So take your time, be careful with this one. I have in the past many times had wires come undone during this process. So this is why we wanna leave the power off during this. Once you get it comfortably in there, you're gonna take your screws that came included. In my case, I actually had to grab a different screw because for some reason that one of them was just too big. So once you get those in there, you're gonna screw them again using an alternating process. We don't wanna to put too much tension on one side and cause the plastic to break. So alternate back and forth. We're gonna run down again to our breaker box and turn the power back on. We wanna verify that this light switch is still working and we have not loosened any wires or had wires fall out. Again, I have done this in the past. We're gonna go ahead and open the Tuya app if you need to, go ahead and take a moment to install it right now. Otherwise, open it, make sure you're logged in, and you're gonna go up to the top right-hand corner and click on Add Device. Now, in my case here, you can see that the device was not already automatically discoverable. So what I had to do was go ahead and click and put the light switch. So you wanna press and hold that light switch for about 10 seconds, and when you release the light switch, it should start flashing. You'll see mine flashing already. We're gonna go ahead and open up the app again, and inside that app, you're going to click that Add Device again, and once you hit Add Device, it should show that device already there. Go ahead and add it. You're gonna enter in your Wi-Fi credentials. Once it connects to Wi-Fi, it will go ahead and start to uh, update as well as connect to your network. Once the device is fully connected, you can see mine also has my Wi-Fi router tell me that there's a new device on my network. That's one of the ways I know it is working and it is connecting. Sometimes this does take one or two tries. You wanna stay near the light switch at this, this entire time. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on and you don't have anything that is off. And then once it's connected, we are going to go ahead and name it. Give it a unique name. This is what the identifier will be. So in the future, if you decide to connect this to a voice assistant, you'll be able to call it by its name to have it turned on, turned off, change the brightness. After you see if you've named it, assign it to a room if you would like to. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and play with it a little bit. You can turn it off, turn it on. You can adjust the brightness from here. You can also adjust the minimum range of how bright or how dim it can be. And then also at the bottom, you'll notice there's a location for to pick your style of light. So if you do not have an LED light, you'll wanna make sure to change that. And that is how we install a smart switch. It is a lot easier than people think it is. Light switches are all the same. Once you figure it out once, they're pretty much all the same from there. The only difference is once we get into three-way and four-way, we're not gonna talk about that right now. Though, this is how we do it. The only last step you'll have to do is you're going to need to add it to your voice assistant. We'll cover that in a later video. Though for right now, we have the capability to remotely control our light switch from our phone. You have a smart home now if this is your first device. I thank you so much. Leave me a comment down below what you think about it and how easy the process was for you. If you had any difficulty, please feel free to reach out to me. You can purchase your own light switch like this one. You can purchase ours. I'll leave the, the link down below. They're $20 a piece right now. If you buy 10, you can get $10 off. I would love it if you'd subscribe, if you'd like the channel and, or subscribe to the channel, like the video, getting that backwards. Share this with a friend if you think they need a smart switch as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.